behind the line in three, two, one, charge. Here goes quarterfinal one, match number one. Number one alliance versus the number eight alliance. Twenty points in all time for red. Twenty-five for blue. Hyper got a low goal. Red Alliance going after the tower. Remember, folks, in elimination rounds, the points are all different. Ranking points do not matter. That means when you get a successful breach in the outer works, you get 20 additional points for your alliance. And when you capture the tower, you get 25 additional points for your alliance. These are huge changes from the qualification rounds. So getting that breach and getting that capture gets you an additional 45 points. All the other scoring stays the same. High goals in teleop worth five points. Low goals worth two. Crosses in teleop are five points each, up to two maximum per defense. The lights on the field will indicate. Lights on the field will indicate when a defense has been weakened. The Red Alliance is one cross away from a full breach. 51-12 playing some mean defense is upside down in in the Reds courtyard. Hyper living in the Reds courtyard trying to score more. Still no breaches for either alliance. One low bar away for the Blue Alliance, for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance got a little bit more work to do. Also low bar. That is the indication for the final 30 seconds. Since 51-12 is upside down, they have no possibility to get a capture. However, neither alliance has depleted the weakness of the castle enough. Interesting how this is going to work for 51-12 because they are upside down. does not matter. We'll probably have our first upset right now, but remember, the playoffs here are best two out of three. You must win two matches to move on to the semifinals. the results for quarterfinal one match number one the blue alliance 130 to 102 the blue alliance was credited with with two scales so two additional scales of 15 points each because of contact in the courtyard within the last 20 seconds up next quarterfinal two 